and welcome back to Wizarding Wiz. So I have some great announcements for you guys. Unfortunately, I was supposed to be leading this video off with a demonstration on port keys and a short explanation of it, but somehow in transition from my device to my computer, the files got erased, and so I no longer have that footage to provide to you. So I will be providing some other gameplay just to kind of keep you entertained throughout my rambling in this video, and I will do another port key video as soon as I have the port key stacked up to do it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it just can't be, you know, we can't win all the time, right? So, without further ado, let's get into the rest of the actual video and hopefully you will at least enjoy it and you will enjoy these announcements and be as excited and as hyped up as I am. So we're back at the house now and what I took away from my first time doing the port keys is that you definitely want to stock up as many as you possibly can, maybe even drop a couple of dark detectors if you're in an area with inns and run your uh, Barufio's Brain Elixir potion to get that extra XP, but the port keys really do go by very, very quickly. In fact, I still had almost 20 minutes left on my Brain Elixir by the time that I was done, so we ended up going for a walk just to kind of finish that off, but definitely make sure you've got enough to do around you to use up the rest of the time on the Brain Elixir. Now, it has been about a week since Harry Potter Wizard Unite has released, and I just wanted to give you guys a little recap. I reached out to my local community here, some of them actually being you, to get an idea of what people thought about the game, and on a whole it seems most people like it. I myself am loving it, but I am a huge, huge Potter fan, so that, you know, that might be a little bit biased in that aspect, but some of my friends who are playing who are big time Pokemon Go players did bring a couple of things to light that maybe a lot of people don't like. In fact, the general consensus that I found is that a lot of people find this irksome, and that is that the energy system is a little wonky. Not that we don't get enough from ends or even from rewards as those numbers have been boosted, but a lot of you would like to see some kind of time lapse uh, refreshing, you know, whether it be overnight, maybe every 24 hours uh, your energy gets automatically refilled from where you were, or, you know, over an hour course maybe you get an energy or two or three, something along those lines. I don't really know how it would work and still keep the game kind of fair because the point of the game is to go out and play. And let's not forget that when Pokemon Go first came out, we were all struggling to fill our bags and hold on to Pokeballs as much as possible. And it's kind of the same with that. I do think that over time, energy uses will dwindle down as you're being a little more selective and picky about what you're actually releasing in these traces. The other issue that um, some people have brought to attention is the way the spells work. Not so much the activity of it themselves, but that they seem to be calculated more off of speed than accuracy. I tend to find a little bit mix of, of both, but I would be lying if I said that the more accurate I am and the slower I am, it, it's not worse. Now we all know I'm not that great at casting these spells, so I'm not the best medium for it, but a lot of times when people are going faster and the trace is a little sloppier, they actually tend to get better spell casts than when they're going slower and trying to match up perfectly with the spell itself. Now I don't know if that's a bug or if that's just the way they meant for it to be. I guess time will tell. We'll see if they fix it or if they adjust it at all. And the other issue that I personally have seen is that at least on the lower level of fortresses, the gameplay action itself is a little slow. And even in some of the encounters where you actually have to battle dark creatures or wizards, it seems to be a little bit slow to me. Um, I wouldn't mind a faster attack from my foe and I wouldn't mind being able to attack my foe a little bit faster. I don't mind the turn for turn as much, but if it could move along a little bit quicker, that would be something that could kind of speed up gameplay and make it a little more exciting and, and, and make it a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little more engaging. I mean, overall, I'm still enjoying the game a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff out there, and the storyline is picking up for me. I don't know how far along you are, but I'm really enjoying it. If you're one of those people that are paying attention to the storyline, let me know where you are. And now, I have some huge, huge news to tell you guys. Today, Niantic and WB announced not one, not two, but three separate events that we can expect to see this summer, the first of which is actually coming out on Saturday. We don't have a whole lot of detail on it as far as the time or the duration, but there will be a special event coming out this Saturday, June 29th, 
at an unknown time. This event will show increased trace spawns on the map as well as increased potion items and a few other benefits as well. But that's not even the half of it guys. The uh, next announcement that they released is that on Labor Day weekend, so the end of August to the 1st of September, there will be what is being assumed to be a Pokemon Go-like event going on in Wizards Unite out in Indianapolis, Indiana. Details to follow on that as well. We don't have a whole lot as, as far as what's going to be going on, but we do have the time frame, which is Labor Day weekend. So, as I know more about both of these events, of course, I'm sure that as of the time you're watching this video, we may actually have more information, or at least later on today, while well, after you watch this video, we will have more information on Saturday's event, and of course, the Labor Day event. I'm sure over the next month or so, we will get more information on that. But the biggest news so far that we have gotten when it comes to events is that on July 3rd, this year, 2019, just a week away, barely even a week away, we are getting our very first full-blown Brilliant event. That's right, guys. The Brilliant event that happened during beta for Australia and New Zealand is now going global, or at least as far as Wizard Unite has been released so far. So those of you out there who have been waiting for a chance to get those restricted section books, the chance is coming up. Those of you out there who have been looking for the chance to get these brilliant additions to our registries, that chance is coming as well. And there also will be brilliance in fortresses. Now, in this event, we will have special tasks, including things like collecting from inns, returning higher level foundables, picking up ingredients, you know, the similar kind of things that we have in our daily tasks, but they will be rewarding better rewards and brilliant rewards in some cases. And as far as this one goes, we do actually have a time when it starts. We do not have an ending time, but it will be starting July 3rd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm assuming that this is U.S. time, so that would be more like a 6 o'clock GMT if you are going off a of GMT time. The length of the event is not actually known, but if it is like the original brilliant event that took place for beta, it will be at least a week long. So. Looks like they are wasting no time in bringing us special events and things to do in Wizards Unite. Guys, this is exciting. This bodes real well for the game because they're already, after not even two weeks into it, starting their very first events. I personally am super looking forward to this. I am super hyped, especially to get out there and hunt down these brilliant foundables and see what other kind of awesome content and challenges that they have for us out there for these events. That is it for today's video. If you want to get this news a little bit faster, go check out my Twitter. I will leave the link down in the subscription below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you did like it. And even if you didn't, throw that like on there. Show me some love. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to share, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and watch out for those Dementors.